Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan from Game Reactor. We are here at Gamescom 2016 talking about Injustice 2. Hello and welcome. Uh, first of all, this is the second game. Uh, what is, uh, how different approach did you take to this game? A uh, totally different approach. Um, so, uh, in Injustice 2, we have the tagline, every battle defines you, and, and we really wanted to take that to heart. Um, so, the, the big feature that we've added this game to really uh, evolve the franchise is we've added a gear system. Um, uh, between each fight, uh, whether you win or lose, you will actually be getting drops of gear, um, and the gear will have different effects on your character. Uh, not only will it physically change the way your characters look, so you can make them look exactly how you want, you can make your Batman look the way you want your Batman to look, uh, it also affects their stats, so um, they'll have increased attack, they'll have increased health, things like that. And how many characters do you have in this game? Um, currently at Gamescom, we have nine characters in the build, um, you know, final roster TBD. And uh, well, the combat, other than the gear systems, how have you have how have you tweaked it this time around? Um, we've added a few new elements to the combat from Injustice Two or from Injustice One, excuse me. Um, there is a dash roll that you can now perform in combat. Uh, additionally, we also have an aerial escape that you can do while being juggled. Um, both cost bars of meter, but there are uh, uh, different effects that you can do to sort of augment how you play your character. And concerning the gear system, how does that influence uh, influence the game and the, the combat itself? Uh, do it get stronger? So high level, high, more high level characters will be harder to beat, or is it more a specialization system? Uh, it's more specialization. I think the best way to describe it actually would be to give you my example. So uh, Batman is my favorite character. I'm a rushdown player. I'm gonna get in there and do as much damage as I can. But the problem with that is that every time I get in there, if I if I make a mistake, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Uh, so with the gear system, what I've been doing is stacking on as much defensive gear as I can. So that way, when I rush in and, and, and you know play the way I like to play, if I make a mistake, I won't take as much damage. Okay, so it's not like there's gonna be some, an overpowered character that won't be able to be taken down? Um, you know, it, it, it's really going to depend on how well you play. Um, you know, time will tell. Okay. <laughs> uh, and the levels, how many levels do you have in the game? Um, TBD. Yeah, we don't. Okay, okay. And how uh, the environments, how do they affect the combat itself? Um, oh, you were asking about environments, sorry. Uh, so we actually have three levels here at Gamescom. Um, uh, the environments have two really awesome qualities that we, we love to put in our games. Uh, we have the environment interacts, um, which are different um, things you can connect with in the background to either, say, deal damage or escape from, a, from an opponent. Um, and we also have uh, level transitions. So, you know, this is, a, this is a big game. Battle of the Gods can't be contained to one environment. So we, uh, we have the level transitions where you can knock your opponent from one stage to another. Okay, and can you talk about a little bit about the special moves because some of them look really cool. Um, yeah, I mean each character has their own unique move set. Um, you know, one of the great things about the gear system is that we've been able to uh, give players what they like the most. Um, so if you're a character that really loves to zone, for example, like Batman, like Batman, you can throw those batarangs. You can get X stats that it throws more batarangs, things like that. Con concerning the the gear system, um, how? How much are you able to modify it? If, if one gear has a certain stat you like, but you don't like the way it look, sure. will there be any sort of um, option for that? Now, the, right now, the plan is to have the stats tied to the specific pieces of gear. I mean, I think they all look pretty cool, um, so players will be able to kind of grab the, the best stuff with the best stats and still look awesome. And will there be any context to all this fighting? Is there story mode and uh, how, how well defined is it? Um, we're not really talking about that just yet, yeah. Okay. But uh, can you tell us something about how uh, when we're going to be able to play? You're going to be able to play in 2017. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.